Like the video and subscribe right now, and I'll show you a picture of Dino Doggo. Ready? 3, 2, 1. What was that red flag that you should have paid attention to from your ex? The fact that he told me I know how to manipulate people and get them to do my bidding. It's so easy. When he told me he thought he should be on the cover of GQ magazine. When he told me how much he loves complimenting other women and making them feel good while we were dating. The way he verbally abused the girl he was seeing before me and I knew about it but thought it would never happen to me. I could literally write a book about this guy. When she was mad at me because I told her you can't hold a cloud. When one day she would act super religious and the next she would beg me to duck her in the ass like the naughty bitch I'm like. She would scream at me for drinking because it's against the lord in the very next day be smoking weed and drinking. Confusing as shit. This level of crazy can only equate to amazing shreks. You can't wear shorts because then guys will look at you. It was 100f outside and my car had no a slash c. Well, guess you just have to switch to mini skirts and sundresses. He calmly told me, sometimes you make me so mad, I want to put your head through a wall. I never did anything to piss him off. Other people would piss him off and he would verbally take it out on me. Then one day, after an argument with his father, he slammed me into the counter and told me I deserved it. I broke up with him that night after I was a safe distance from him. But all the signs were there. Just dismissed them as him having a short temper. The difference between the men's answers and the women's in this thread are staggering. When I met her family, her grandma said out loud at dinner, try not to ruin this one. I like him. Should have listened to grandma. Obvious solution, date her grandma, she clearly wants you. My first ex told me, when we started dating, that he was a top, gay relationship. He would have one drink of alcohol then pretend to be drunk as an excuse to say things he was afraid to say when he was sober. First time he ever did this, which was a red flag in itself. He said I lied, I'm actually a bottom. So we are both bottoms, but don't worry I have a solution. We can get a double ended dildo and butt bump. I should have seen that as a red flag, but instead I was like wow he's a problem solver. She lied about having kids. As in, she told me she did, but she didn't. I still don't ducking understand it. Having kids and lying about it is nuts, but kind of understandable. Not having kids and lying about it is another kind of crazy. One time was having Shreks with girlfriend in the front seat of my car. Unprotected, no condom or seatbelt. She's on top, and right as I'm about to climax, she looks me straight in the face and says, I stopped taking the pill. I quick threw her off of me and caught as much of my seed as I could. She was really mad at me, insisting that she wanted to have my child. We dated about another month. This was in high school. What a bitch, not using any protection. Not wearing a seatbelt will get you a ticket. When I caught her vandalizing my car outside my apartment, she thought I had someone else up there with me. Wow. That thought process is scary. She had a bunch of communist flags. I mean, that had literally nothing to do with our breaking up, but they were pretty. I should have paid more attention. Wait how are communist flags red flap? Oh wait I see what you did there. When he stabbed himself after yelling at me for a laundry related mistake. Shouldn't have mixed the whites with that pink sock. She was ducking mental. Crashed a party by driving my car in through the front window to get my attention. Damn. That's brutal. Read this as she was ducking metal and could imagine her blasting death metal as she drove through the house. She was rude to waiters. Oh and she told me she wouldn't be with me if I didn't stop acting. So now I'm single anyway and training as an accountant. My fault though. Never let someone else dictate whether you pursue your dream. I'm of the belief that, if you are rude to your waiter slash waitress or server, you are just not a nice person. Obviously if the waiter is a dick, this is different. Otherwise just be nice, servers not slaves and all that. We went to a bar. Came back. She started trying to get me to have shreks with her. I was very tired and got some bad news while we were out. I wasn't physically or emotionally into it, so I told her no. She began to cry. Violently told me I must think she's fat, or gross, or that I had to be planning on breaking up with her. Then she dropped this gem. You're my boyfriend. 
boyfriends are supposed to want Shreks with their girlfriends all the time. You have to do this. Stayed with her another 2 months after, it got messy. No guys, you don't have to do anything, just because you have a dick. My dog wouldn't stop jumping up on him, and panicked when I went to leave the house with him. My dog was right. My mom had a German Shepherd who disliked almost all men. He loved my dad the first time they met, and wouldn't let him leave. Dogs know people. My mom knew he was the one, when he came over, and she had to shower and iron a shirt. When she came out of the shower, my dad had ironed the shirt for her. One of my exes would turn up with new expensive gifts from friends and relatives. He was a poor college student, his family didn't have much money. But he was given a couple of MacBooks, a nice Canon DSLR, a projector setup for his dorm room, and backpacking gear. A little fishy, but I didn't question it. First big red flag was when the university fired him from his stage management job because some laptops were stolen on his watch. The kid was a kleptomaniac. I didn't put everything together until he stole a $25,000 watch from a house I was house sitting. That was fun. Did he give it back? Nope. He sold it to someone in China. After I contacted the police he tried to get it back, but wasn't able to. He committed suicide when he found out he wouldn't be able to avoid jail time. Blamed me in the note and everything, the bastard. He had cheated on his wife, the mother of his children. He was insistent on introducing me to his children within 24 hours of meeting him. I asked how their mother would feel about that. He said that he didn't care. He talked about his ex constantly. He tried to play her off as mentally ill and crazy. He showed me a picture of her, and when I commented that she was pretty he shrugged and said I already had that. Edit, I should add that this was his first wife, and they had been divorced a year by the time we met. She had BPD, and would have emotional outbursts over trivial bullshit, and then threatened to cheat on me when I disagreed. 4 years of my life wasted. Also her refusing to delete her a cupid because she wanted friends. Also, her keeping white knights orbiting around her as friends. Word of advice guys, when a woman keeps a bunch of white knights around her and it's painfully obvious they're obsessed with her and she denies it, just walk away, she ducking knows she just wants the attention. Just stand directly in front of them, they can only move in an L shape. She told me she was selfish. She said, I don't know what it is, I have trouble understanding that other people have emotions that are different than mine. Now I'm pretty sure she was very high on the narcissism scale. At least she was aware of her problem. But I don't know enough about your situation to say anything more. Being secretive of his phone. I saw the chick's name and they were in a relationship weeks after we broke up. My ex did this. As soon as she started getting scarily about her phone, I knew something was up. Where to start? He told me he was organized but wasn't at all. He tried telling me how to dress. He tried telling me how to act. He blamed everything on everyone else. Nothing was ever his fault. Massive chip on his shoulder. He would get his phone out at dinner in a restaurant and go on Facebook. I went out to a shooting range with a friend of mine one day. No cell reception for a few hours. When I got back into range my phone had at least 20 texts and 5 voice emails from a girl I had started dating a month before wanting to know why I wasn't responding to her. We dated another 10 months and I regret not taking this for a sign. Things only got worse. He jokingly would introduce me as his future ex-wife. Funny, I used to do that too early in our relationship when we started getting serious. It was just my sense of humor, never really meant anything by it. But still she didn't care for it at all, so I stopped doing that. 16 years later we are now going through a divorce. Today she brought my son to my work's holiday party. At one point I told her I don't quite know how to introduce you now, because even though she is still my wife, most everyone knows we are going through a divorce. She says well now you really can introduce me as your future ex-wife like you used to when we were dating. My response, apparently I could back when we were dating too, as it was just as true then. We both chuckled. When I would ask him to not do something because it would upset me, he went out of his way to do it just to irritate me and wouldn't apologize afterward. Not in a joking matter either. X, this girl had a fairly fat ass, I agree, it was voluptuous and amazing, 
and he'd stare and look back at me and laugh. When I asked him to stop he went up to her and talked to her. When I got upset, he ignored me and waited for me to apologize for being too sensitive. We are only human and we were made to procreate so yes, we are going to look at other attractive people. Just don't make it obvious and purposely make me feel bad about myself for your own amusement because you get off on having power over me. He put me down a lot mainly about my intelligence, got incredibly jealous, hardly ever listens to me, and is only interested in himself. I could go on but this will turn into a massive rant. I'm not sure why I fell for him the first place lol. Alcoholism. Turns out I like to chill means I like to get sloppy drunk slash stoned and verbally abuse you, throw things at you, and let the scumbag neighbor into my panties when you finally stand up for yourself. A stranger once messaged me on Facebook saying that my then boyfriend added her and was messaging her as if he was single. Didn't think much of it at the time. In hindsight, what a creep. When my mom died, he said to me, oh, well now you have no reason not to move in with me. Like, first thing he said when I called him sobbing. He was a mama's boy that took his laundry home weekly for her to do. 8 hour drive. Moved in with him. He secluded me from all my friends back home. Wasn't allowed to have friends of the opposite Shreks, even though my best friend of 7 plus years was. He was allowed to have female friends. Yelled at me whenever my brother called to chat. His mom hated me. Nasty looks, nasty comments, etc. I wasn't good enough to be taking care of her son, and she let me know. Then he let me know. Stayed a while, thinking he'll change back to how he was when we met. Realized I liked him best when he wasn't around. We broke up, and he's living with his mom again. That he loved tiny girls, small boobs, wasn't over his tiny ex, loved preteen anon girls, wanted me to wear my hair in pigtails, and made jokes about ducking little girls. Yeah being with him wasn't one of my proudest memories. Hey, this sounds like my first boyfriend. I was 15, and he got pissy when my already tiny tits grew. I'm a really small girl. Now, he was also like 27, so things were already whack, but I was, so attention starved I didn't see what was going on at the time. Bahahaha. <laughs> the fact that she was cheating on her boyfriend with me. She eventually broke up with him for me, and then did the same thing to me with the new guy on the way out. That, and she was still married, 7 years separated, to her first husband through all of it, who happened to be a former member of a very major 90s band, and was apparently an abusive psycho, but cannot prove for sure. He might be a good guy. Who knows. She was selfish. She told me, not too long in, that she only starting to talk to me regularly at work, we were cowhawkers, was because she wanted to order something from ebay, and I had an established account. She had a bit of a pattern of using people. She was always looking for that next source of new and exciting. She would put down my hobbies and interests until I just stopped doing them around her. I saw all of this at the time, but didn't take it serious enough. My mind told me that she's a bit of a mess, but she's my mess and I love her anyway, flaws and all. Then she got bored with me after my usefulness waned. She latched onto me because I gave her an escape from her shitty family life. I gave her love and they gave her grief. I moved her 4 hours away and gave her a calm life. Then she no longer needed me and started dating a guy who was a list of things that she said that she could never date 10 years older, unemployed, no higher educations or job training, smoked heavily, and ducking married. They were doing their thing behind my and his wife's back. I was an idiot. 7 years of my life ruined by the anger tainted memories that she left me with in her wake. I gave her love, sincerity, and stability. She ended up giving me lies and cheating on me. We were the couple that her friends were jealous of. But looking back it was mostly because I was damn good to her and showed it in ways that her girlfriend's boyfriends didn't. And on the way out she had the audacity to ask if that whatever she headed toward didn't work out, if she'd be able to come back to me. No. Duck you. Went camping the first month, temperature dropped to near freezing after a cold front moved through in the middle of the night. I let her use my winter rated sleeping bag, woke up practically hypothermic, 
and found her apt like a goddamn burrito sleeping like a champ on top of her sleeping bag. Every spare blanket in the tent and still inside my sleeping bag. She wouldn't budge, not even to offer me a corner of a blanket. Got pissy because I woke her up. I finally had to get up and go sleep in the car with the engine running. She got furious when I opened the tent to leave. I should have driven the duck away and never looked back. You have been visited by Jedi Doggo. He will protect you from furries, but only if you comment. Thanks for protection, Jedi Doggo. Thanks for watching. Do not forget to subscribe for more daily videos.